Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to troubleshoot the problem. I'm trying to access my storefront URL, but somehow I'm not able to reach the website. So this is the, this is my lab environment storefront URL, and I'm just trying to log into it, trying to access the page, but for some reason it says it cannot be displayed. So we are going to perform some troubleshooting steps to fix this problem. So uh, what we can do is we can just try to access services, try to uh, check services to make sure if Citrix related services are up or not. So this is Citrix default domain service. It's, it provides authentication, change password and other domain services. Citrix Credential Wallet provides a secure store of credentials. Citrix Configuration provides access to delivery services configuration information. Let's try to restart and see if it helps. Okay. Looks like Citrix uh, related services are good. But this is Citrix Telemetry Service. Let's try to start and see. Okay, so this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's now check IIS manager. Mm. Okay, internet. Okay, we are in IIS manager, internet information services manager. So let's maximize it. Cancel. Okay, there is something wrong here. You see here, the site, the default site, the default website, it is in stop state. It is asking us to start. So let's click start. The website cannot be started. Another website may be using the same port. Okay, click OK. configuration okay let's check the SSL settings for Citrix basic settings uh, looks okay let's minimize this let's close this let's go back to Citrix Let's check the website bindings once. Okay. Okay, let's click on bindings. Port 443, okay. This is, this is interesting. Okay, my storefront server doesn't have an SSL certificate, but for some reason it's pointed to 443 which is SSL port number so let's do one thing let us change the port number to 80 which is uh, web traffic and it's HTTP HTTP is always 80 the port number is 80 and and for HTTPS it is 443 so let us change the port number to 80 let's click OK let's click close Okay, I just cross check whether the, okay, the settings have been applied successfully. Let's close it. Now let's go back and try to access the website and see how it goes. Okay. It says the page can't be displayed. Okay, let's go back to IIS. Let's start this now. Okay, it is started. Let us go back to uh, Internet Explorer or Edge and try to access the page once again and see how it goes. Looks like it is taking some time. There you go. we can successfully log into the storefront. Let us uh, 
try to log in. Okay, let's click login. Perfect. So we were we were able to access the uh, website and also we could log into the storefront without any problem. I hope uh, this video helps you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you.